Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thank you for joining me for this beer review. Uh, we're making that trip once again, guys, and we're heading towards Germany for this one. I believe we have a little bit of a uh, treat for you beer lovers out there today, especially if you like smoked beers, because we're heading back to uh, the Schlenkerla Smoked Beer Brewery. Uh, this is their Helles Schlenkerla Lagerbier. It's a special edition. There you go. It says unfiltered there, and it's brewed according to the Bavarian Reinheitsgebot, the purity laws, it says. Plain uh, bottle cap there, uh, silver f- colored. The historic smoked beer brewery, Schlenkerla, of course. Helles Schlenkerla Lager receives its subtle smokiness through bottom fermentation with yeasts from Ash Schlenkerla Rauch beer. Regular Helles Lager is clear and yeastless due to the filtration before bottling. This specially unfiltered edition, however, retains the natural haziness and the yeast with its fresh, fresh and smoky character. A rare and special treat, not only for smoke beer lovers. 500ml bottle, clocking in at 4.3%. Let's give it a go, guys. See what we get. There we go. Right. Lovely smoke on it. Okay. So yeah, Schlenkerla. They are, of course, world famous for their uh, smoked beers. Their Rauchbiers, as it's called in German, smoked beer. There we go. And this is a Helles lager from these guys. A special edition beer. So that could be very, very interesting indeed. Now, as you can see, a good deal of carbonation on it. Five, six fingers worth of head. Bright white shining. Massive, of course. Uh, yeah, it's certainly very highly carbonated. Lightly straw colored. A little bit of haze to it as well. Looking fine. On to the nose, see what we get. See if we can find any smoky character here. Yeah, it's certainly a, a kind of a distinct aroma to it. It is a classical, uh, like a lager, Hellas lager uh, smell to it. But there's something behind that. But it's not really smoky either, but it is a definitely a little bit of a different aroma. Okay, but it's definitely in the taste, so let's dive in and see what we get. Cheers all. Oh yeah, very interesting beer. Very, very interesting. Actually, actually, I would say very, very... Uh, okay, so let's go uh, right off the bat. Let's go to that smokiness because I guess that's what you all are expecting. Is there that smoky character there, that massive smokiness, which is kind of a love or hate smokiness? For many beer lovers, it's either kind of a love or hate taste. Uh, and I'm personally, I do love it, but... Uh, I know it's very special. Now, do it is it here? Yes, but it's ever so subtle in the aftertaste. There's an ever so subtle smokiness there, but it's a pleasant smokiness. That li- lovely kind of a woody smokiness to it, like burnt wood. That faint smokiness is there, but it's also a massive citrusy vibe about it. Long lingering fruitiness as well, big fruity initial taste, citrusy, uh, bready, and then comes that uh, very, very distinct and uh, odd, uh, smoky, aromatic uh, taste. Yeah, so I would say what makes this beer special is 
that that smoky character it's so subtle that you know you have to look a little bit uh, for it but that's kind of the thing isn't it because if this were a regular hellless lager and you had that massive smokiness that you have in the other rauch beers then this would probably not be especially interesting to drink at all because it would be it would stand apart from the usual ordinary rauch beers but this is definitely something else very very interesting beers guys very interesting beer uh esch schlenkerleigen and there's their hellesch schlenkerle lager beer special edition 4.3 percent 500 ml bottle guys for me i really do like it it's very very different and uh, it's adding a very subtle smoky dimension to another very to a, a very nice hellas lager for me i'm going to give it a four out of five for all you schlenkerla fans go grab it thanks for watching